Fifth and Korea posts disappointing financial figures despite bumper transaction volumes. Tim Alper last updated April 2, 2024, 2380 2 minute read. Fifth and Korea, the operator of the Fifth and Crypto Exchange, has reported a year on year decline in profitability for the financial year 2023 despite recent upturns in trading volumes. For the South Korean media outlet New Daily, year on year sales figures fell by 58%, according to a Fifth statement on April 2. However, while the company's performance shrank compared to 2020, its profits remained in the black. Bitham Korea did commission-free trading harm financial results. Bitham Korea said its exchange business recorded operating losses of just over $11 million in 2023. The firm had posted sales revenue of $236.7 million in 2022, but this shrank to just over $100 million in 2023, the firm said. Net profit also fell to $18 million, a 74.5% decrease from the previous year's $120 million. The decline failed to send Bitham Korea into the red, however. Instead, the firm has now posted net profits for four consecutive financial years. Bitham officials claim that crypto winner had taken its toll on the firm's performance. A spokesperson said, Last year, we focused on improving usability and strengthening customer service in the difficult market environment of crypto winter. This year, we will continue to introduce differentiated services to improve our performance. Some believe the exchange's decision to suspend commission fees last year may have hurt profitability. The firm decided to stop charging commission on coin trades on October 4 last year in a bid to claw back market share from the market leading up it. This policy proved a dramatic success. It briefly saw Bitham transaction volumes outstrip those on the Upbit platform. However, critics have pointed out that almost all of South Korean exchange's revenue comes from commission fees. Bitham ended commission-free trading earlier in February this year. Bitham IPO on its way. The same media outlet reported that Bitham and Upbit are taking very different approaches to the initial public offering IPO market. Dumon Yu, the Upbit operator, has an estimated market capitalization of some $3.6 billion, compared to Bitham Korea's $476 million. But while New Daily reported that Dunamu is in wait and see mode regarding a possible IPO, Bitham is hoping to accelerate its listing on the Korea exchange. The exchange hopes to complete its listing by 2025 and recently announced plans to spin off its non-exchange-related businesses to speed the process up. In contrast, the media outlet wrote Dunamu is in no hurry to go public. The operator reportedly wants to wait to see how the market situation develops before making its move. In 2021, Dunamu was rumored to be eyeing a NYSE-based IPO. But the onset of crypto winter in 2022 seemingly buried talk of a public offering. The media outlet concluded that there were relatively few obstacles to a Dunamu listing, and it said that the exchange operator was inclined to bide its time. Bitham has also attempted to attract new customers by launching new, lucrative points-type rewards programs and what it calls the industry's lowest commission rates. Follow us on Google News. Thank you